Welcome to a video from the Lifestyle.com. and in this video we're going to have a quick look at the new entertainment features and the Xbox One, the new dashboard of the Xbox One launched November 12th. Now uh, there's not a huge amount of difference but what they have done here with one guide is they've consolidated all the video apps together and video services. So this is the dashboard here you see your active apps or YouTube or whatever you're running. Um, there's a media app that I'm already using, Plex, but let's go and have a look at one guide. So you can see there we've got uh, content from Netflix, content there from movies and TV. Uh, it's a bit strange really, because really not, when I've seen other TV shows listed there, when you go in and hit that, now if I selected Netflix, it would then load up that uh, X-Files in this case. But X-Files is available in the UK. Netflix store so it doesn't actually play it but if it was one of the ones that was there it should work now I have seen that working um, and I don't know why it's showing me Netflix X-Files because I'd quite like to watch that but it's not available here in the UK so that is content directly from movies and TV down here you can see trending on live TV so that's pulling that from the um, what people are watching um, through the Xbox and if I scroll down it's now here showing me new TV shows that are available in the Moving TV app to buy or rent. And there, there's new TV channels. So there's the Microsoft One, the uh, Movies and TV, or Film and TV as it's called here in the UK. It's showing for stuff from Blinkbox. And these are different content. So these are all content available really through the um, through the Moving TV app. I, I would like to see a bit more integration. So maybe we'll get a bit more Netflix on there because um, I think that is one that's on Netflix. But no. So here I can see all the free view uh, channels. I could switch it over to you Sky if I had the HDMI connected up. I've got it configured but not got it plugged in at the moment. Uh, I can't record on here because I've not got. Um, my well, recording is not enabled now and you need a hard drive for that as well. But I can watch any of these and I can get more information by doing that using the info button. And I can switch to uh, live TV if I want to. Let's uh, switch to that one. And it goes full screen while it switches to that channel again using, and that's using Freeview. So there's a nice quick way of switching channels on there. So we've got, um, that's one guide, improved integration, it's got these other services into it and I think um, I think we can see more in there. I would like the Netflix integration, that'd be really great if that was pulled through as well. Uh, we started to see that at the beginning of the app. And um, the nice thing is one guide is, is there available any time, so I could be... So you can switch to it like that. Now that I think is available, but uh, let's see that. No, that's not available either. So you see the problem there, that it's linking up to the US store rather than the, the UK store. Like, like I said earlier in the video though, I have seen that working and it was, when it shows something that's available in the UK, that was fine and you've got the shortcuts to go on there. So overall, nice improvements, needs to, uh, more integration to make it really useful, but um, the whole media experience in, in uh, Xbox One is looking good. It'd be great if you could link it with Plex or MB or one of the other media services so you could see your own stuff in there. I mean, that's one thing that is missing, that all of this is uh, content from other providers and none of it is my own, which is stored on my Plex server and my MB server. So I'd like to see that in here put it together then you'd have a really great powerful system as it is I was going to be using the MB through the browser or I could use the Plex app as separate apps but I'm sure they could uh, get those in at some point in the future so that's the new Xbox uh, dashboard entertainment features with one guide uh, coming out November 12th